Hey everybody, this is Erica the Technology Nerd Likes to Film Stuff and today I have something really fun and exciting to show you guys but I know that some of you guys do not like the Nintendo centered videos and for those of you guys who don't like those videos please stay tuned for Monday because I will have both the Xperia XE Premium and the HTC U11 to unbox so you can ask me your questions of what you want to know for those reviews plus I'm almost done with part two of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus review so please stay tuned for those. Now for the rest of you guys, I have a custom Nintendo Switch right here, but before I reveal the color scheme to you, I have to thank you all so much for going on my website and voting on a color scheme. My husband and I made several mock-ups to show what some custom color painted switches would look like, and you guys overwhelmingly voted for the go-kart theme, which included a lot of red. And I love that, and I actually ran with it, and I made something all new. Actually, kind of like a three-in-one all new. So here's the boring side and we turn it around and you can see it's this really nice candy apple red on the back. We've got the white switch logo, which looks absolutely perfect. I love the job that they've done. We've also got this glossy white kickstand. So this is just my base theme. If you guys have not been keeping up on Nintendo news, there actually has been a custom Nintendo Switch released by Nintendo. I believe it is the Monster Hunter theme, and it looks really quite boring. So if you guys want to customize your Switch and Nintendo doesn't come out with it, check out Colorware. That is who I teamed up with. Thank you, Colorware, so much for making this video possible. They are not a paid sponsor. I contacted them to work with them, and this is what we came up with. So I feel that this is far more true to Nintendo and more exciting. So what I did was I got two sets of Joy-Con. And it makes sense because if you're playing things like Mario Kart, sometimes you need more than just one pair of controllers. So I've got two gold controllers here, and then I've got a candy apple red one and a white one. All of these are a glossy color. So for the first set, let's go ahead and put the white one on and let's go ahead and put the red one on. It complements well, but when you turn it around, you can see that this is a Pokeball-themed Switch. So for those of you guys who love Pokemon, if a Nintendo doesn't release it, this is a definite choice. You can mix the white and the candy apple red, and it looks good. Now, continuing on with the Nintendo theming, I also love The Legend of Zelda. That is my favorite game series. So we can just go ahead and put this gold one on. Now this is like my Zelda-themed Switch. You can see it looks pretty awesome on the back as well. This color palette that I chose really goes together well and it shows you that you can get a couple sets of Joy-Con and really customize your Switch. Customize it for your mood. So this is the Zelda Switch and this is probably my favorite combination. Then lastly, the one that's I think the most true to Nintendo. We've got the gold Joy-Con and also the red Joy-Con. Now before you say, oh, that's totally Iron Man Switch. Well, actually it is the Famicom colors. That is the original NES that was released in Japan, Family Computer. And if you don't believe me, here we have a Game Boy Micro. You can see it's in the theme of the Famicom controller colors. So there you go. And this really looks stunning. Take a look at the back and at the front. I think that Colorware did an absolutely phenomenal job. I love this. You really can't tell that this has been painted by Colorware, except for if you lift up the kickstand here. You can see that there's a little bit of evidence of paint. But everything else just looks so nice. All the seams just look right. And I don't mind that we don't have that print that used to be here at the bottom. I think the Switch label looks pristine. It looks original to me. Now, of course, if you're constantly taking these off and putting them back on, which is the essence of the Switch, your paint may get scratched along here over time. That honestly doesn't bother me too much. It's meant to be played with. But I do have one little defect there already from pulling the Joy-Con in and out. Again, it doesn't show unless you're directly looking at it. But otherwise, this is an astounding and an amazing job. I've got three different types of Nintendo theming in one. And I don't have to wait around for Nintendo to decide if they want to make this custom combination or not. So again, this is the base color of the Switch. This is the candy apple red on the back. You've also got the glossy white. Then I've got two gold Joy-Con controllers. And I've got a right white controller and a candy apple red left controller. So if you guys want to customize yours the same, you can do that. Now keep in mind with this that you can't send your Switch in. You need to buy it through them. They no longer let you send a unit in and paint it and send it back to you. So these are things that you need to purchase through them. 
Ah, and one last combination. We've got two gold controllers right here. So let me know which of these combinations is your favorite. So thank you again, Colorware, so much for working with me. Check them out at colorware.com. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And again, let me know which is your favorite color combination, and have a good night.